Hey man, what's going on man? This your boy Kage SMG back with another video man and today you can tell by the thumbnail, you can tell by the title exactly what's going on man. We discussing Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. It's right around the corner man and I can't wait to finally get my hands on it. After getting just a taste of the game in the closed alpha test, the full game should be amazing. With that being said, there are a couple things that I want to see added to the game that would make me extremely happy. So let's get into my wish list for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I'll be breaking this video up into different chapters and categories of the things I like to see starting with playable characters. If you don't already know, this game will be adding post-launch content including characters and new missions for completely free. And one character has already been teased. Well, here is my list of playable characters I would like to see. <laughs> Killer Frost, Black Manta, Katana, Killer Croc, Cheetah, Black Spider, Three hours later. Catwoman, Deathstroke, Poison Ivy, Firefly, Lobo, Bang. The list can go on and on, man. There is a lot of different characters I love to see get added into this game. And although this is a little shooter, hopefully characters like Enchantress or El Diablo can get added with a new gameplay mechanic where essentially, instead of them using guns, they can just shoot projectiles. For example, Enchantress and Diablo could shoot her magic or his flames from their hands or something like that. But we'll talk about this later. But the characters we could potentially see in this game could be heat bro. I went over to Comic Bond to see the full list of characters who have been a part of the Suicide Squad and there were many cool looking characters that I never even heard of. But I saw a couple of surprises too. One being Barbara Gordon aka Batgirl aka Oracle. Oracle is somebody I definitely want to see. After finding out she was a part of the Suicide Squad and providing information for them I just had to add her to this list. Now we already have a pretty strong amount of NPC and support characters in the game already according to what has been publicly shown. Amanda Waller, Aaron Cash, Rick Flagg, Penguin, Ivy, Toy Man, Gizmo, Hack, Lewis Lane, and probably even more. So it doesn't really seem like enough room for Oracle to help out for right now. But what if the squad heads back to Gotham for a post-launch DLC? That would be a perfect reason to bring her back, assuming she is still there. We will talk about locations soon. But when it comes to the characters that could help as support, they are many. I found an interesting character named Dr. Rodriguez, who was a scientist who worked for Amanda Waller, but later fought against Waller after giving herself sand powers. So maybe we could get some NPC characters that would later be playable. When it comes to this kind of game where if done correctly, characters are added for free post launch the possibilities are endless but what are some support characters you would like to see included in the game there are actually a couple more characters i have in mind but we'll talk about them later because now let's talk about the locations this game is set in metropolis and within metropolis there are places like the hall of justice and the batman museum daily planet and probably even more to explore while there seems like a lot to do i would love to go to different locations in game gotham is definitely one of those locations imagine being able to explore arkhamverse gotham in these new graphics man it would, it would look beautiful and all the different locations within in Gotham that we could explore is something I would truly enjoy seeing, as well as places like Atlantis. Although that would be a lot for this type of game, maybe we could just get a smaller hub section of Atlantis where we're not completely underwater, similar to the throne room and the Injustice games. Places like Jotunheim would also be cool to see, and maybe we could have a Stario raid to sort of match with the James Gunn Suicide Squad movie. And I doubt it would happen, but Krypton and Themyscira would be cool to see, but I'm pretty sure we'll get a good look at Themyscira and Wonder Woman's game, and if a Superman game finally gets announced, Krypton is a must. But overall, being able to explore different DC worlds and interiors is something I hope there's a lot of in this game. Now next on my wish list is a photo mode. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but I really hope we get a photo mode, man. I know this is a multiplayer game, but with the offline mode update coming in the future, hopefully we can get a photo mode to use while playing solo, like in Marvel Avengers. That would be heat. But next on the list is more melee animations. I didn't really know where to title this chapter, but to sum it up, I really just want to have more melee combat or at least a different mode in the game where combat is similar to the Batman Arkham games. Different modes in general like previous Arkham games would be a cool addition as well but i know this would be a major thing to do since the game is a shooter but i just feel like if we had more melee options it would leave the door open for more hand-to-hand -hand fighting style characters this game would fit people like deadshot peacemaker blood sport and red hood perfectly but what about other characters like katana or enchantress i mentioned them earlier as characters i like to see and while i would accept them added regardless if they use guns more melee options for combat characters would be ideal but next up on my list is updates on the bad family if you watch my playthroughs of the arkham batman games you probably heard me say many times that i hope we can get updates on the Bat Family and the Suicide Squad game. While this game is about the villains of the DC world, the games prior to this were dedicated Batman games. And with the five year gap between Arkham Knight and Suicide Squad, plus Batman is still around and a part of the Justice League, I definitely want to know what everybody else has been up to. We already know Aaron Cash is back, but what about Barbara Gordon? Like I said earlier, I would love for her to return and feed info to the squad as Oracle. And of course, fill in the gaps about the five years we missed. Are Barbara and Tim Drake still married? How's Nightwing? Is Alfred still alive? Did Batman and Catwoman keep in touch? Is Lucius still 
running Wayne Tech? What happened to uh, Azabriel, Azabriel, whatever his name is? There are way too many questions that should hopefully be answered. And although this seems like the last game in Rocksteady's DC universe, hopefully it isn't and we can get a tease or a setup to one last Batman game that could maybe focus a little bit more on the Bat Family characters and not just Batman. Introduce Cassandra Kane, maybe make Bruce and Selina married and she can be Damien's mom or bring in the Huntress, see an actual reunion between Bruce and Jason Todd, you know, stuff like that. Or maybe we could get a Teen Titans game or a Batman Beyond game. I definitely love that. But anyway, back to the Suicide Squad. The last thing on my list is more skins. Obviously, this game is going to offer skins via Battle Pass and skins you can earn by simply playing the game. But there are a lot of specific skins I love to see, especially for Harley Quinn. So let's start with her. I definitely want to see all of Harley's skins from previous Arkham games and previous games in general. Similar to how the Arkham Origins suit was in Arkham Knight, even though Origins wasn't developed by Rocksteady. So hopefully we can see her Injustice suit and her Gotham Knight suit. I also would love to see her movie suits. This is something that will most likely happen due to her popularity in the DCEU, thanks to the one and only Margot Robbie. But every movie suit could work in this game, except for maybe the dress she wore at the end of the James Gunn Suicide Squad movie. But the first Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey skins, for sure. Now let's talk about cartoon and comic skins. I really want to see skins from the HBO Harley Quinn cartoon, and it would be dope if they could match the art style and cell shaded animation style from the show. Her main suit and the suit she received when she joined the Bat Family are a must, and maybe even her suit she wore when she was Robin during that episode where she was in Bruce's head. Now when it comes to other cartoon and comic skins for Harley, a lot of them are very similar in style and color, so I'm hoping we have more customization to suits so we don't have to buy new suits that are pretty much the same. For example, Harley has a lot of different variations of her new 52 look. Sometimes it's a corset with a red out the jacket or just a bra, sometimes it's shorts, pants, or sometimes it's like those underwear type things, so hopefully we can get one suit and make changes to different parts of it. But there are a couple of unique comic suits I love to see too, but there is a lot, so I'll just show them. And once again, a lot of these skins are kind of just variations of others, but I hope to see majority of them. Now, when it comes to the rest of the squad, it's a little easier. For Deadshot, Boomer, and King Shark, a lot of their suits and different media are pretty much the same, with a couple of exceptions. So I definitely think Rocksteady will be making more original suits for the squad like the Justice League skins we can get by pre-ordering the game. I'm hoping for some matching theme suits as well. I think a Green Lantern set would be fire, as well as some seasonal theme suits and some more casual suits, both Rocksteady original and from the comics. But Deadshot, King Shark, and Captain Boomerang were also in the HBO Harley Quinn show, so I want to see those skins as well. And of course, their DCEU skins and any other suits from previous games. For example, White Deadshot would be cool to see. Once again, I hope that some of these comic and cartoon skins can be animated to match the specific cartoon like the animated suits in Arkham City. But I think that's enough when it comes to skins. I'll definitely just be showing a slideshow of the skins I want to see because it's just too much to talk about. I'm a big fan of character customization and cosmetics so I could just keep going on and on. So to sum it up, I just want a lot of skins. But with that being said, this was my Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League wishlist. In conclusion, I really just want a lot of content to be added to this game. I hope it does well and receives a lot of support so it can have a long life. And to me, if the things on my wishlist get added, it will make this 10 times better than it already seems to be but i'll kick it over to you guys y'all messing with my wish list what would y'all add or do without what would y'all want to see added to the game y'all let me know all of that down in the comments man i wrote a script for this but knowing me i probably forgot some stuff but <laughs> i'm gonna be ending this up right here man i hope y'all enjoy if you did do me a favor hit the like button subscribe if you're new hit the bell so you know when i'm posting man share the content share the channel do all of that i'll see y'all in the next one it's your boy kai smg peace Girl, I know, I heard, it's all just like you